Hello, this is Chad. Today we're going to be setting up the Ring Video Doorbell 2. Let's get started. First thing we want to do is locate our battery and we want to charge it. It takes a micro USB and you just plug it in. The orange and green light will illuminate. Once the battery is fully charged, the orange light will turn off and the green light will still be lit. Um, it works best if you use a 2.1 amp charger. It takes uh, about five hours if the battery is totally depleted. If you use a 1 to 1.3, it can take anywhere from five to ten hours to charge. So uh, you definitely want to do this first. I've already pre-charged my battery, so I am good to go. Next, let's go ahead and open the Ring app. Now, it's going to ask me if it can if the app can send push notifications. I want to allow that so that I can get alarms and and motion detects and all those kind of things. Uh, let's go ahead and if you already have an account, you can just hit login. If you need to create an account, go ahead and click on create an account. Uh, I'm just going to hurry up and type in my name. It wants to know your first and last name. So let's go ahead and whoops, type that in, then hit continue. Uh, it's asking what country you live in. I'm in the United States, so I'm going to leave it there. Next, it asks for a email, so I'm just going to type in my email address. Then I'm going to hit continue. Now I'm going to put in a password. says it's very weak. We're going to go ahead and create the account. Don't use the same one I did because it is very weak. Now we're going to go and check and see if we've got an email. And we do, so I'm going to click on the email and this is to verify our email address, so I'm going to go ahead and hit verify. It now shows that we verified our email address. So now let's go back to uh, the Ring app. Uh, it asks if you want to connect your Amazon account. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to hit skip for now. You can always go back and do it later. Uh, it says our email's been verified, so I'm going to hit continue. Now it wants your address, so I'm going to... Now, I'm, this isn't my address, so... I'm just going to grab one real fast. And then it asks to confirm it. Put in your right address. <laughs> so now it's saying set up a ring device or, you know, so we're going to set up a ring device. So if you logged in and you didn't have to create an account, you would click on the menu at the top then go down to devices and then hit set up a device. Now we're all at the same place. So now let's go ahead and click on doorbell. Uh, it's asking if the app's asking if it can have permission to use the camera and we want to hit OK because uh, on the back of the camera it has a QR code that you need to scan. If you've already installed your doorbell uh, no big deal. We can, you, if you have the instructions right there, it has a QR code inside that you can scan. So we're going to go ahead and scan the QR code. Whoops, I took too long. Now, the app's asking if it can use my location. I'm going to allow it while using the app. 
So now it's asking where is the doorbell going to be set up and it's going to be my address, which really isn't my address. Now it wants us to label the door and I'm going to use front door. This is basically giving it a name. I'm going to use front door. Uh, now it wants you to remove the front cover and I'm going to, if yours is on, if you don't have your front cover on, you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to pop it off with my screwdriver. I just barely stick it in and then press up. Easiest way to get it off. Now I'm going to insert my battery. Well, first I'll hit continue. Next, I'm going to insert the battery. So I'm going to wait just a second for it to start up and then I'll hit the button. Once the blue light turns off, I'll go ahead and hit the button. Okay, so now I can hit the button and it's going to start spinning. Now I'm going to hit continue on my app and the doorbell has its own Wi-Fi. It's short range, so I'm, my phone is going to join the Wi-Fi of the doorbell. Excuse me. I'm going to hit join. So now it's connecting to the doorbell. Now we can set up our Wi-Fi. So it's asking me if it can connect if the doorbell can connect to secured. That's my SSID or my Wi-Fi network name. And I'm going to, I'm not going to hit yes. I would hit yes, but I just wanted to show you that there are other ones that it's scanned and found. And I'm still going to click on secured. Now it's going to ask me for my password for my home Wi-Fi or network. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Hopefully yours is more secure than mine. Okay, so now the doorbell is going to connect to my home net Wi-Fi network. And it's connected. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit got it. Mine doesn't have an update. My doorbell's up to date. Yours will take a little bit longer because it's going to update. I'm going to hit continue. It says that it's updating. Once the light starts stops flashing, then we'll go ahead and hit continue because it'll mean that it's ready to go. Okay. So it's all ready now. So I'm going to hit continue. Okay. So now we're to the point where we can install this. Now my video isn't really about the installation, but I'll just quickly tell you that you just need to hook up the two wires coming from your existing doorbell and hook them up to the ring doorbell. Then there's four holes that you mount this to your exterior wall. You can also start the tutorial. It gives you a lot of information on installing it, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to X out and it says skip for now. So the next thing we're going to do is test the internet connection. So if you haven't installed it, take it out near where it's going to be installed and then hit start test. Now we're going to see if our strength of our Wi-Fi is good enough and that it has a fast enough connection. And it shows that we do. So we are now done with that portion of the setup. Now it's going to want to customize it. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and hit Optimize Motion Settings. So this question it asks, are there stairs leading up to your door? Uh, is, basically, is there an elevation change? And at my house, yes, there is. If you don't have one, then hit no. I have about six stairs to get up to my front door. 
it's telling me that I should consider installing a mounting wedge. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to continue. Does your door face a street? Yes. How far away is it from the street? Mine is more than 30 feet. So I'm going to select that. If yours is less, then select 5 to 10 or 10 to 15. And so now it asks uh, if you want to customize motion settings. And I am going to just continue. I'm going to leave everything default. Uh, basically, I want to just see how it works default. Then I can go back and do minor adjustments. So I'm going to hit continue. It's going to say what frequency do I want to be notified on motion. I don't want to have everything that happens outside uh, leave, move. I don't want to have it come on that or have a notification sent. So I'm going to just hit standard. Uh, you can adjust this later so it's not set in stone. And I'm going to hit next. So now that's saved. And next time this sees motion, it'll update. So I'm going to hit got it. <laughs> uh, so now you can enter in an email if you want to have somebody else uh, be able to look at your account. I don't. Me and my family all share the same login, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, so now it's asking if we want to enable two-factor authentication. And that's a really good idea to do. So I'm going to hit enable. It took me to account settings page. So, so I'm now going to hit two-factor authentication. Two-factor. I'm going to hit yes. Now it wants your ring a password. So I'm going to just type mine in. Now it wants your phone number and I'm not going to do this part, but I'll tell you what happens. So you'll put in your phone number, hit continue, and it's going to send you a text message that'll give a six digit code. You'll put that in here. Uh, if you're using an Apple device and it wants to automatically put it in, don't do it because it won't work. Just write down the number or memorize it and then punch the six digit code in. And that's it. After you do that, you're all set up with the two factor authentication. And that just makes it so your account's more secure. If someone tries to log in, it'll notify you. You can give permission for it by putting in six digit code. The last thing I wanted to look at, whoops. I'm gonna click on menu, go to devices, click on the doorbell. Now this brings you to your settings page. This is where you can customize things. You can go into motion settings and customize the zones. But again, I, I think you probably should wait and see how it acts. If it sends you too many notifications, if it doesn't send enough, then you can adjust it. I would start with the standard and then adjust from there. Other than that, we're pretty much finished with this. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.